Hey lovely people, hope you're having a great day wherever you are and welcome to another self-isolation vlog from Pai in Thailand. Woohoo! It's a good job we weren't planning on going anywhere anytime soon because there are quite a lot of restrictions in Thailand, the situation has changed quite a bit so we're going to let you know what it's like to get stuck here and what's going on. At time of recording there have been 2,369 cases of coronavirus in Thailand and 30 deaths which is quite a lot lower than some other countries so it seems like they're doing a pretty good job at handling the situation. The WHO certainly seems to agree, they praise Thailand for how they've been dealing with the crisis and this led to a very weird press conference recently where the Thai health minister and a doctor from the WHO gave each other an elbow bump. Weird times. We are in Mae Hong Song province in northern Thailand and here the situation is pretty much the same as it is in the rest of the country. We have a curfew from 10pm until 4am so that means you can't leave your house and you can't travel outside of the province unless you're like medical personnel or something essential. Pharmacies are open, grocery stores are open, restaurants are open for takeout and delivery but apart from that everything is shut so it's pretty much like a ghost town and foreigners can no longer enter this province. If you're already here, you can stay, but no new travellers can come. We've heard rumours that there's been quite a lot of anti-Farang sentiment in parts of Thailand, blaming foreigners for the spread of the virus. Farang, if you didn't know, is the Thai word for Westerner or foreigner. Um, it can be used as an insult, um, although it's also a neutral term as well. Um, it also means guava fruit, so make of that what you will. We haven't experienced any of that here so far, luckily. If anything, people have been even more friendly and welcoming than they were when we were in Bangkok back in September. In a lot of places in Thailand, including Chiang Mai, which is the province next door, the sale of alcohol has been banned between the 10th of April and the 20th of April. Um, fun fact about buying alcohol in Thailand, you can only buy it between 11am and 2pm and then 5pm to midnight. Which I suppose is quite good because it stops kids coming out of school and just buying a bottle of whiskey and going to the park. In spite of government warnings, a lot of people have still been having parties. Uh, take Phuket for example, where 14 people were arrested last week for having a party on a rooftop. Well done guys. Luckily, it's not all bad news for foreigners in Thailand. Earlier this week, there were a few crazy photos from scenes of the immigration office on Koh Phangan, where there were hundreds of tourists lined up to try and extend their stays. This is obviously not very good in a global pandemic, having so many people in such close quarters. But yesterday, the Thai government signed a visa amnesty into law. So it means that anyone who is here with a visa that expires after March 26th, their visa will automatically be extended until April 30th. And also the 90 day reporting requirements are waived at the moment too. Strange times we're living in right now. Stay safe, stay home, wherever home is for you right now. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And if you're bored in social isolation, hit us up in the comments. See, See you later. later. I'm authorized staff and medical personnel. Also, I can't remember what I'm saying. <laughs> um, 